Hello there beautiful people. Good evening from Dhaka, Bangladesh. How are you all doing? Uh, today I am here with three reviews. I think I'm going to be doing three fragrance reviews and uh, basically uh, the th three that I'm going to do, one is going to be a comparison video between an old uh, version, a new version of a perfume or current batches rather. The second one is going to be a fragrance I never reviewed. Third one is going to be a review of a perfume of EDP version that I did EDT before three years back. So that's the first episode is going to be and it's going to be from the house of beautiful house of Lalique. I'm going to give them so much credit because this house is under uh, appreciated and very, very, I would say, uh, how to say the proper word, you know, it's like uh, they are not really getting the love they deserve. Basically, that's it. Very underrated house. Okay. So this is going to be Lalique uh, Purom or Lalique, yeah, Lalique Purom EDP, the big boy bottle. I just want to do initial impression. So a few words before I start, as I was telling you, I don't want to rush the reviews today. Today, uh, my health is much better. I slept, I ate and recovering uh, like by grace of God. Just a small little thing that usually I do not address these things, but uh, someone told me, <laughs> my friend told me, Joy, you should read your comments. I said, uh, I do, but when I'm not well or rushing because I have other work, uh, sometimes I miss, you know, because I scrolled uh, later. But they said, you know, my friend said like, you know, some people are writing uh, stuff about you. I'm like, what did they write? Uh, there's like this two uh, two profiles from YouTube, two uh, gentlemen, or I am hoping uh, they're like, this guy's always sick. You know, I'm like so happy that someone's concert for me. But then you'll see this comment went somewhere else. I actually uh, feel these people actually never have good intention or good well wishes for you. They just always randomly come. They're like trolls. Uh, the co comment went, you know, I, I want you to guys take notice and take note uh, because I believe in the world. Most people are kind. Uh, they are uh, they have a good heart and they have good intention for people and usually they're good people but there are certain people who are sick honestly speaking they're sick uh, um, because they were asking this guy probably is faking his sickness or he's mentally not okay it's just how can he be sick twice and all the time and he's always okay so as if almost someone's trying to say i'm sorry i'm taking a little bit of time because i need to address this because as a human being we have feelings uh, it's almost saying like they'll be happy if i did not make it or I was not okay if I did not recover or it's something I'm trying to achieve from uh, like doing this ploy according to them that my sickness I'm wanting money or uh, some sort of fun. No guys, I never asked for anything and uh, what you guys think I'm going to achieve through that, I don't know. But uh, don't simply assume, you know, like or write stuff, assume that you live here in my country or you know me so well, you guys don't know me right so before writing nonsense you know maybe burn your energy somewhere else you know this guy says i like your reviews good reviews though i don't need your views honestly speaking i'll be a little bit rude i went to his channel absolutely zero content so what are the value of your life eight years you're on fragrant youtube you know and that's your contribution you know uh you are you always have to talk i saw dan my makers mish he passed away right i have seen people even making reviews about him that uh, claiming that he's faking his sickness, asking for money, and then it's like uh, he's a cheater. You know, you guys who actually watch, you know, it's like the world needs support for good people, you know, and from good people. So when you see this kind of I see many people defending me and wrote comment. But just like this kind of thing sometimes, you know, like make you wonder how come, you know, more than Corona, there are a lot of people with the sickness in their heart and their head, you know. So anyway, let's just go. I'm a little bit upset about that, but then I'm like, yeah, these people don't matter to me. So I have done my work. I have put my reviews. Uh, go do that many reviews and then come and talk, okay. So this is Lalique once again. They come with like two different bottles, I think 75 mil to 125 mil. I previously did three years back. Sorry, it took so long. Sorry. Uh, the EDT version of it, sadly, at that time, I was not really... My nose was not really that mature. I sold off that perfume and I was like kind of in a rush, you know, like sort of like in a rush to sell perfumes, to get more perfumes, to review in that process kind of, you know, many of you go through that. So this is the box. That's how that looks like. Fantastic house. I did review six to seven Lalique perfumes and I did talk about initial impression, like kind of the niche line. So really nice. If you open the box, it's all solid, you know, like really nice packaging. And this is the beautiful looking bottle. I did review the Equus. The, there are like three versions of this, I think, like the Lion the horse and perhaps this one more I forgot but take a look at the beautiful bottle you know there was this one more Lalique uh, homage many people ask me to review that I will review it in time and also uh, there is Lalique uh, <clears throat> the white bottle I, I forgot the name Lalique uh, Om I forgot the name the white bottle that basically sort of like uh, Parfum de Marly Galloway got this tamarind note beautiful white bottle similar to this but look at the line 
it's engraved on the bottle and if you can see it's like all work on the bottle the artwork so this is niche niche presentation the cap looks really nice even though it's a cheap plastic cap not cheap but doesn't feel very heavy if it has some weight that would be nice but you cannot get everything uh, it's a little bit curved okay it's very nicely done i've been wearing this like the whole day i was testing it to do the initial impression let me show the spray distribution is fantastic okay the prices on this the best part is the pricing you know you can score this in bangladesh under 35 40 dollars you know if you just go top dollars it's going to be that much maximum uh foreign countries is 25 dollars 25 pounds i have seen bangladesh of course the duty and all that okay so you get 125 mil a lot of juice extra juice at least 125 means you get 25 mil extra compared to many designer fragrance they give you 100 so that's the bottle so the fragrance basically it's uh to be honest uh, i will start saying that if you do love creates board to portugal because i do not like to break down on notes i'm not that kind of reviewer i'm mostly an user and i talk about my experience how it smells how it lasts should you be looking at it just my two cents from my uh, customer experience so the thing is the edt was really nice but it did not really push more than three and a half hours it did not have that strong push uh, so i was a bit of like not really feeling the vibe even the smell was board to portugal in the first place in creed uh, if you know that this is kind of like a very close cousin to that i won't say exact clone because it has differences but bordeaux portugal is one of the creeds it's very mature green and people uh, do say like dan norton did say it's a signature scent of frank sinatra very classy guy musician you know uh, so it has kind of like a lavender kind of spices very strong and then kind of like a lemon that is very old school vibe got this oak moss fantastic fragrance it has a similar vibe with uh, creeds royal wood and some of the more mature ones but somehow border portugal is not my number one and it does take a long time to appreciate this kind of like a fougere because of the lavender so what uh, creed produces is going to be expensive you guys know 120 mil was expensive and 100 mil now the new versions are much more expensive so if you do like creeds uh, border portugal or you wonder what that smells like this smells a lot like that there's another fragrance one of my two dear brother john harper i think he mentioned if you do like that one <clears throat> creed you should look at new york intense by Nikolai, I think, right? And Pachuri Intense or New, New York Intense, yeah. That's a phenomenal fragrance. I did review it. I gave it 10 out of 10. Fantastic, but pricey. This one, for what you get, what are the good things? Price, presentation, juice amount. 10 out of 10. No uh, comparison, okay? But what are the smell that you pick from it? What are the differences? First difference that I get from this is not as harsh with the lavender or as peppery or as aggressive or as daring as Bordeaux Portugal. And this is not as old school. It's much more modernized with that lemon or bergamot or citrus, whatever they put. First good thing is you get the hint of citrus, very beautiful. The citrus, really lovely. And the thing is when you smell the citrus, it still slowly starts into getting a little bit of greenness. Okay, it's like almost something leafy. Okay, like a tomato leaf that you get from La Cospurum. At that point, people might think it's not that citrusy, not that sweet. And that's where many people will say this is a bit more mature because that the time that lavender starts kicking in. Okay. Citrus, lavender, green, oak moss, kind of like that mix, and there may be some other notes, but I'm just those are the major things I pick up. So the fragrance gives you that very high class feel. If the total uh, longevity from this, from initial impression, I got like five hours and a half because it's very high heat outside nowadays. I'm pretty sure in the winter time it would push about six hours to seven. Uh, your condition, Europe, cooler condition, you will easily get eight hours to ten because your condition is much better. So the fragrance basically I feel is great fall fragrance you know like a uh, transition between uh, high heat like november december that time you know like it's going a little bit cooler the you know like humidity goes down a little bit it'll be perfect age range for this this is the thing if you're a youngster and you're a new beginner or just starting your game and you just love safe fragrances this might be not a safe choice okay why am i saying it because if you are a teenager you want something playful it offers a little bit less playfulness it's more serious up class like ceo uh working people your father if your father smells like this you'll you'll understand like it has that level of chanel aliron or lalix uh Ancre noir or terre d'hermes this is the same level with those mature you really need to give it time to understand and maybe buy a fragrance like this and keep it in your shelf maybe through the years you'll understand and appreciate it cartier declaration fragrances like those come to my mind and it's fantastic masterpiece of a fragrance and the the whole point of affordability and what you get and beautiful presentation that you get it makes such a beautiful uh, experience obviously new york intense is going to be much better perfume 
uh, it's going to be much stronger longer lasting but you get a little bit less juice for much higher price tag not everybody can afford that if you can afford it get that that is a like a standout fragrance you don't even need border portugal after that that's a refined version of border portugal so this one i even love more than border portugal if this was the creed juice in that uh, border portugal bottle i would buy the creed i would pay the creed prices with this juice that's what i'm trying to say so price doesn't determine quality beautiful beautiful fragrance and thanks usb i have to give credit to ifran by uh, for bringing these i just saw it in the you know collection i'm like why nobody's buying that <laughs> i'm like i have to have this you know i have a decan page but this is mostly for me i love this perfume uh, i'm gonna be 40 this year next month uh, so hopefully i'm here but uh, for a guy who has a little bit of maturity in terms of age you know you are 35 and above this is a fragrance you should definitely look at uh, it's not a fragrance you want to wear every day like your Savar. It's not a everyday fragrance, but it's kind of like you know those need those mood. You know, you're just gonna be like going out normal days, and you just wanna meet up some of your mature friends, and you wanna smell a little bit up class. This is the fragrance. Okay, Lalique, Purom, uh, Lion. Also, it's called. And uh, this fragrance, I will give it for what it is. The price, it's much better than EDT. I'll give it like 7.5 to 8. This is a 10 because it has that added performance and projection is very good for one and a half hour. So check it out. But weakness, one weakness is it's not beast mode, absolute beast mode. It's not like uh, like 10 hours pushing. You're not going to get that. At least I did not get it. Okay. So performance wise, I would say it's a seven and a half out of 10. Okay. It's good. It's solid. It's above average. But for the price, it definitely makes up for definitely not weak. So check out Lalik, Puro and the Lion version EDP. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, and uh, I will see you soon. Bye-bye.